welcome to my channel. Alright, so we're going to start off with a fresh base. I have no makeup on. My skin is super clean, but I'm going to moisturize first using my Khalil's moisturizer. I will tag that in the description. You don't need much. I'm just going to put it with my clean hands all over my face and my neck just to prep the skin. I do apologise today, I'm doing a voiceover because my children were home with me, so it was super loud and I couldn't, you guys wouldn't have been able to hear me properly. So I'm just rubbing it in now, getting my skin prepped for makeup, so I don't use a primer. Now, I've got my hair tight, I'm ready to pull it back, so I just do a really loose ponytail so I don't put any indents in my hair, and just so it's out the way. Alright, next we are going to go into eye cream. I'm using the Tatcha eye cream. Now this eye cream is quite lightweight. It's not heavy compared to the Khalil's one that I use at night. So I thought this would be a better alternative for during the day and for makeup use. I am currently listening to music and singing and dancing. So please forgive me. So I'm just applying that with the applicator underneath my eyes. They have come, it comes with an amazing applicator. It I'll show you that in a sec. It is it glides on. As you can see, it's quite expensive though, so it is an investment, guys. So I'm just dabbing it in now, making sure it's pushed in. All right, so now we're going to move on to makeup. I usually go straight in and do my foundation so as you can see my face and skin tone is completely different so I'm going in with a darker foundation to match my face to my skin tone which is normal because I don't like to tan my face so it's got a little applicator and I just oh, I spilled some of my eyebrow so I just push it all over my face I don't use too much I didn't want it to be heavy with the eye make the foundation today All right, we're going in now with my bra my buffer brush. It's Zoeva. I'm going to tag the name and the number of the brush in the description below. So we're literally just pushing that into the skin and making sure it's a smooth finish. pushing all around my face and under my eyes and on my forehead through just up to my hairline. I've got to be careful because I've got blonde hair so it does stand out when I um if I go too close to my hairline. All right. Next I'll jump in and do my Concealer. Oh, no, I'm not ready to do concealer yet. I think I was checking my phone. <laughs> All right, I think I'm. it's time for concealer. Maybe I was changing the song. That is so like me to do. Okay, so I'm showing you guys, you know, how it's matching my skin now. So before my face is really pale, don't tan it. I stay out of the sun. I try and look after it. Oh, there's a dance. All right, so for my concealer under my eyes, I do use, oh, okay, the NARS foundation I usually use. As you guys know, that is my holy grail, but I did want to try the Dior today. And you know what? The finish was amazing and it is good. It went on really smooth. You didn't need much. I'm going in now with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I will tag that in the description as well and what number. Oh, hey, Cruz. <laughs> um, so it's got a little applicator and I'll just dab it under my eyes. My 
All right, now I'm just finding my beauty blender. So I use a pink beauty blender for my concealer under my eyes. I dampen it and then I push the concealer in to my skin under my eyes. Just brings out my eyes and especially for me because I'm quite tired. So it is such an investment, those, the sharp tart, sorry, the tart, tart shape tape concealer. Um, and the beauty blenders. Make sure you get a few colors. So I know I use the pink for the concealer and then I always use black for my powders to set. So I was playing around with my ring light today, just adjusting it so you could, guys could see better the makeup. I just didn't know what setting to have it on. So I'm just pushing it in. As you can see, it's dramatically already changed. I already look a lot brighter, healthier. <laughs> I think I'm checking my phone. I just, I don't know what's going on right now. Okay. I usually use the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set, but I wanted to try something else today for you guys. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Banana Bake Powder. I'll tag that in the description. You can get that from Sephora. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Cruz is back. Now I'm using the Black Beauty Blender, as I told you guys about, and I'll just dip it in and then I'll push lightly the um, powder over under my eyes and in any kind of areas that I really want to bring out just whilst I do my eye makeup you'll see in a sec I'll just let it sit now I'm showing you guys I'm using the new M Ramsey powder palette eye uh, palette from um it was her collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills it's amazing so I'm going in now with one of my little it's my um flat brush so this will be my base all right so I'm using the top right hand color it's like a soft pink I'll tag the name in the description so this is an all over base for me just to begin the eyes so I don't usually use an eye primer only because I don't find I need it. Some people do, but my eyes tend to stay. All right, so I'm just making sure I covered the whole eye. I need to get better than this. I need to be able to show you guys without <laughs> blocking your view. I'm getting a buffer block brush now. It's a Zoeva one. They're amazing. I love all their brushes. And I'm just literally buffing it all in the base. So it's flawless, seamless, and ready for the other colors. I'm jumping in now to eyebrows since I've done the base just to set the frame of my face. Now, I'm using the Benefit Brows. Um, I think it's Brow Wiz pencil. I will tag it in the description as well. And what number I use. All these products can be found at Mecca or Sephora, guys, so I will, I will, will do the research for you, though. So I've had my eyebrows feathered on, so I literally just go over the shape and just fill them in so they're a bit more bold and stand out with the makeup. Otherwise, it kind of looks like your eyebrows are floating or fading in. Yeah. Eyebrows to me is not a huge lengthy process only because I've got that amazing shape already from Amy Jean Eyes. Um, she does my eyebrows once a year um, in Sydney. Yeah, I usually run my fingers over my eyebrows just to kind of smooth them out so they're not so dark. I'm going into my Tardiest Pro palette. It is amazing, this palette. It's such an investment. It has every color you will need in this palette. And I mean that seriously. Like, it's everything. So I'm going to use um, two colors. The top, the top second one in, and then the bottom, um, second to the bottom, first one. I'll tag that in the description as well. 
So I'm running that through the crease, as you can see with my buffer brush from Zoeva. I'm completely blocking your view, how rude. I need to invest in a um, mirror underneath. Oh, Chris is back. Oh, he looks angry. And now I'm using my peach palette. I'll tag that. I mentioned that in my previous videos. So it is one of my go-to palettes. I have a lot of nice pinks and beautiful colors. So now I've got my definition. Like it's kind of like a, I'll tag the brush, but it's really amazing. And it's more if you want to define and go underneath. So this is where I roll it under my eyes. So I'll use those three colors that I'll tag in from this palette. I'll roll it under my eyes just to match with the top. Yeah, I look pretty impressed with that. Okay, I'm going back to the Tardius Pro palette. And I'm using that same definition brush. So this is really when you want to get lots of colour and you're not trying to soften it. So I've just dipped into two colours. I'll tag in and I'm doing it in my outer, outer corner of the eye. So they're brown colours. It's more a bit like a light smoky. It's not black, but it's brown. All right, so we're just dabbing that in the in outer corners of the eyes. We're getting the product placement in, put in. And then, yep, yeah. <laughs> that kind of looked funny. Now I've got my buffer brush and I'm literally just rolling it around in the corners, see? I'm pushing it into the middle but not too far and then into the outer, um, the inner crease of the eyes. So buffing is key with eyes. So make sure you buff, buff, buff your eyes using a um, like a feathery soft brush. So I'm going back in with a bit more colour for underneath to match the top. So it adds to the pink light colour that I rolled underneath my eyes before from the other palette, the peach one. Now, I'm probably going to buff these out even more. So, oh, no. Okay, we're jumping in. We're taking off the powder because it's probably been setting there too long. So I will get a fluffy brush, really soft, and I'll just go around my face and swipe off any excess powders, roll it around into any areas that will need it. So any areas prone for oil. So we're not dipping into heaps more. So if we need it, it's there. We can grab a bit more from in the areas. I think for my forehead, we're gonna need it. Just a bit more. Make sure you take it down to your neck too, so it always matches. So I'm just buffing that all in. Having a dance. I don't even know what I'm listening to. <laughs> it looks fun though. Uh, see, I've got my buffer brush back again. These are so important to have. You need to buff, buff, buff your eyes in. So they look seamless and flawless and all the colours match together. Go underneath, over the top. So you can't see the definition of where you've put different colours. I'm going in now with, okay, I'm showing you, this is what I usually use, it's Give Me Sun MAC, but today I wanted to try something new, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer, it is called uh, Private Island, I'll put it in the description as well guys, it's quite a nice bronzer just to, um, I'm using my Chanel bronzing um, cheek brush, so I'm just pushing it into my cheeks, We're adding a bit of colour back since we've baked our face, <laughs> And I'll also be doing a little bit over my nose as well. I don't need heaps of it. I have had rhinoplasty before, but I like to always just add a little bit of um, definition. Also to the forehead, you just want a bit of colour. Underneath. And I'll usually drag it down my neck.
All right, we're going to go in with my cheeks now. Yeah. My favorite Milani baked brush, blush, sorry. Um, I'll tag the color in, but I think I've put this in my previous video before. It's my favorite. Um, and I'll use my blush brush. I think that is, could be Morphe or Zoeva. No, it's Zoeva. They're my holy grail brushes, honestly. So a little bit of smile. Beautiful, we're adding some colour into the cheeks now, so we're not looking so bronzed and um, pale. <laughs> All right, now we're doing highlighter. So I'm using my Mecca Maxima highlighter. I will put that in the description as well so you guys can have a look to buy it. I'm not sure what the colour was called. I was trying to look. But it's basically drops, and I put it on my hand. A tiny bit you don't need much at all and then I will use a tiny little damp beauty blender no I can't find it there it is beautiful grab it and I'm going to push it into the areas that I want it so in the tops of my um, cheekbones and then I'll also put it over my nose and my cupid's bow Right, we're setting that, that now. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's so old. I bought it ages ago when I seen Kim Kardashian was using it. It's like a 18 karat gold um, highlighter. It is amazing. So I've run out of my champagne pop, which was my holy grail, but this one is also amazing. But I don't think it's stocked anymore. I'm going to have to check that for you guys when I do the description. So I'll push that over where we've put the liquid just to set it. So it's basically like setting your foundation. Now I'm going to do my bottom lashes with my Their Real by Benefit Mascara. This just kind of finishes the eye, makes it look nice and tidy. I don't know, you don't need to do your bottoms. A lot of people don't and they find that their eyes close up. But I don't mind. I think I, I like the bottoms, so... Oh, the hair's coming down. We're starting to look snatched. All right, we're going to lips. So I'm doing my Holy Grail Lip Liner by Chanel. I'm pretty sure they've sold out and they've changed the names and the colors now, guys. But I will still tag the number and what it's called. So I line my lips very quickly, very easily. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go in with my Mecca Max. Um lip gloss it's called I think it's called all nighter there's a few I like from there though peach is really nice as well so I just glide that on and this literally just blends in with the lip liner so you're pushing the lip liner in with the lip gloss so it just gives it a bit of definition beautiful now I don't usually set my foundation only because I find my skin actually holds the foundation and makeup amazingly all day but there are some really good setters. Um, uh, I'll go into I'll do another video on that, actually. I know a lot of good ones, and I'm more than happy to provide that with you guys. Thank you, and make sure you subscribe. Love you.